From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big night as a lifetime stimulus is joined by something else. Seven new stimulus checks. We'll go over the breaking news tonight that you need to know across the board. Meantime, earnings recession, big problems as major companies get downgrades today. Those downgrades are because of a recession. That's what the analysts say, and that is what's at issue in a major week across the board. On Thursday, the jobless claims will be released, and I'm projecting 265,000 new jobless claims. You need to get that stimulus check, but lifetime benefits are happening. Why? Because inflation is not peaked, and we'll go over the latest details of supply chain disruption improvement and gasoline prices down. Does that mean that inflation has peaked or not peaked? All the latest details tonight. The housing industry back with a major report today. And that data on the housing is not good. A housing recession confirmed by the National Association of Home Builders of the latest breaking news as the eighth consecutive month of bad numbers were delivered today. Then we'll be going over to the major question of how much your benefits will go up as the CPI continues to surge and why you need to get that forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. $100,000 of checks. That was check A, check B, and check C. And tonight, you're going to meet check E to check K. Yes, the incredible breaking news tonight is not only a lifetime stimulus checks, but also seven new stimulus checks. Passed by Congress this last weekend, featured on a special report on Sunday. If you missed it, we'll go over the latest details on the chief payout you're going to get. Incredible great news across the land. Recession or not, the two camps are getting a big battleground today as the housing industry clearly in recession. And now major companies now being guided downward in their corporate guidances because of the recession at issue. And then when we jump over to the other major, major question at, at hand, the Federal Reserve, you're going to see new guidance tonight you've never seen across the land before. It's a major broadcast, and we're going to go over everything you need to know about your economy, your recession, your inflation, your benefit raises, and your housing market. The unemployment and your forced stimulus, the breaking news, starts right here, right now, as America's most watched you know in financial news in prime time gets underway. It's evenings. Boy, oh boy, here we go. Seven new stimulus checks were released this weekend. We'll go over the latest detail of this major breaking news story. Seven new stimulus checks heating up, and they're coming up in tonight's recording. Meantime, a lifetime stimulus, you're going to need that because companies are really hurting tonight. Major guidance downwards on corporate earnings, and then we'll be jumping over to the inflationary numbers as supply chain disruption may be improving. What do you need to do? Become a member. Go right on this video and become a member. You're watching the number three most watched financial news channel in America, expanding to two new channels, and you want to be part of the channel that is giving you the guidance on this inflation inflation, recession, money, and the latest details on everything but lobster shorts. <laughs> That's a big night, and I'm excited you're here. And let's go right into that breaking news tonight, right off the board. Seven new stimulus checks became law on Sunday, and immediately were featured in a primetime special report on Sunday. And if you missed the breaking details then, we'll be covering it tonight in this recording. Meantime, the great news of a lifetime stimulus, the biggest stimulus you've ever seen in the land, is heating up tonight's broadcast. But we lead first with the major shocker that is really expected across the land, but only if you're in Camp 2. A major series of reports released today signals that companies are getting hurt badly by recession. A new series of downgrades from companies today came in, and this is not corporate earnings, this is actually downgrades from the analysts who look at the companies on a regular basis. 
And the narrative was all the same. We have to downgrade these companies because they're being, they're not doing well in this recession. And they're going to get really hard later this year as the recession manifests itself more across the board. Among one of the biggies at issue is one of the dollar companies that you may shop at. And let's lead with that one tonight. It is Dollar General. Dollar General got a downgrade today when BMO Capital Partners says... They are, we need to price in a recession to the stock price because they may not actually do that well in a recessionary environment. The stock was down 1% upon the news. They were not the only stock that got that type of downgrade today. We had Vroom that was downgraded by JP Morgan for the same reason 3%. It fell. Revolve downgraded the same reason by Barclays, down 2%. Green Plains down 3%, downgraded for Bank America and Comcast, the company that gives you the internet service to watch me. Uh, <laughs> downgraded by 1% when Atlantic uh, Equities said the same narrative across the board. So there you go. Major downgrades of companies because of the recessionary pressure. On their business, but later this recording, you're going to see why Apple is expected to report the same number of sales of iPhones this Christmas season that they got last year. So, are they being hit by recession? I'll explain the latest details on that later in this recording. In the recessionary issue, however, it's not only felt in corporate America; it's also felt on the neighborhood block. A series of new reports released today, and they are from the home builders, said that the situation is very, very different than a year ago. And they specifically use the word recession. The home builders got the new report out today, and it's the eighth consecutive month of downward guidance. And the report was that the housing industry is in a recession. That is the very blunt phrasing from the National Association of Home Builders and their index released in conjunction with Wells Fargo every month. It was released today. It follows the data that's been featured on the channel over the last two months. Last month, we had the home builders number sentiment down, the housing starts down, existing home sales down. And we knew tonight, or at least this week, we would have more data on the housing, but we didn't know it was going to be this bad. And the data released today was not good. Recession. The tighter, mo tightening monetary policies for the Federal Reserve and persistent elevated construction costs have brought on a housing recession, says the comment by National Association of Home Builders Chief Economist Robert Diet. So there's a blunt statement. They're in a housing recession. Get ready for the housing recession. Let's look at the data at issue. Falling numbers across the board. This is the eighth consecutive month of declines for this index of housing. They've never seen eight months of consecutive declines since... The, uh, by reference point, they had one month down at the start of COVID, and they had one month briefly down in 2014. They never see anything like this. We have down numbers on both sales, positivity, and also uh, and, and also territories. The situation is very important because when you look at sales conditions, sales expectations, and tr buyer traffic, all those numbers posted lower data today. It's a monthly data figure, and it's not good. The cause is affordability. People cannot afford the homes because of the rising price of the mortgage rate. And those mortgage applications are currently at the lowest levels of a generation, 20-year low. Supply chain disruption on another front today is different. If you're in the supermarket like I was on Saturday and see more goods on the shelves, that may signal that supply chain disruption has improved, but doesn't mean that inflation has peaked. Well, this is why you got to stay with the channel. Because out of nowhere, supply chain disruption may be easing. And that was originally the culprit for inflation and potentially the culprit for recession. But supply chain disruption is not going away. A new report out today from the Case Fright Index says that supply may be stabilizing and getting the products to you may be easier. But the cost to deliver the products is still up through the roof. It's up 28% year to date. The shipper costs are through the roof, and that is why there's major problems across the board. And with that, we have the incredible great news that came in on Sunday. It was a special report featured on this channel at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time Sunday. New stimulus checks, seven of them. Seven new stimulus checks were passed by Congress this weekend, and those incredible stimulus checks came out of nowhere. And guess where they are tonight, if you're watching this for April 
for August 15th, 2022. They are going in the membership newsletter. For the first time in the membership newsletter, you're going to see these incredible seven new stimulus checks. You need them because this economy is in a recession. And with that, let's go over those seven stimulus checks starting right now. Incredible, incredible news. And I'm giving them a lettering system starting at the letter E and going all the way up to the letter K. These seven stimulus checks are the following. $7,500 is check E. Then check F, $4,000. Check G is a wonderful percentage decrease of 30%. Check H is $2,000. Then comes a duel of I and J that are both $8,000. And then finally K is $14,000. Again, they're in the membership newsletter tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And every membership newsletter here out, here on out, incredible details across the board. Lane, there's a corner we'll go over those lifetime benefits, and they're even more money than that. But here is what you need to know, is that when we look at this economy and when we look at that inflation and recessionary pressures, there's a lot of major issues at hand, and one of the major issues is the impact of inflation on your wallet. And tonight what I'm reporting, and I'm going to go in very aggressively on this, and people may think I'm crazy, is that I believe the Federal Reserve, when they return in September, will do 75 basis point for their interest rate spike, and then 75 basis point in October, November, and December. The Federal Reserve governors, Boulard, Daly, and also Bowman, have all made very clear that they need to get inflation down to 2%. They've been trying to get it to 2% since all this year. They've only moved it from 8.5 or 8.6 or 9.1 to 8.2. That's not much of a move. That's basically perceived as flat. And when you look at the component parts, they're actually still going up. I believe they're going to come in very aggressively. And here's the problem. Wall Street has not embedded that risk of pervasive inflation and pervasive interest rate spikes in the Federal Reserve after the month of September, they actually have not embedded that risk in the markets. And the markets think it's going to be one interest rate spike and do and done. How could it be? If 75 basis point hasn't gotten inflation down in the past, why would you think there's going to be one interest rate in September and then we're done? You got to go from 8 to 2%. You ain't going to do it with one interest rate spike. You have to do a lot of them. And I predicting 75 basis point will be happening over and over again. Why is this important for you? It's important for you for your benefits. We're first going to go over your benefit raises, and then we're going to go over why your benefits are tied to this issue of inflation, and then we'll cut back into how much your benefits are going up. Incredible news starting right now. These huge benefit raises are lifetime stimulus. Lifetime stimulus. And that benefit raises are impacted by the issue of the situation at hand with inflation. Let's go over the overview of those benefit raises starting right now. You, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rare Old Benefits, Veterans Benefits. If you're on multiple benefits, if you're about to go on benefits, and all of that and more. Number two, it's lifetime benefits. We'll go over why it's lifetime in a second. It's a monstrous sum of money. For many of you, 5000 For many of you, even more than 5000 We're going to go over how it works, how it calculates in just a second. But now let's take it back and understand why it's happening. By looking at the inflationary situation, inflation has been tracking up. And that tracking up was 8.6% in the month of February, in the month of May, and then the month of June, it went to 9.1%. Wowzers. And that is, means your benefit's going up a lot across the board. Let's take it back even before May. Back before May, in last year, I said, in the spring and fall of last year, that inflation was going to come in at 8% in December and be pervasive and not go away. Federal Reserve was going to say it was going to be 3 to 4% and be temporary, transitory. They were wrong. So then inflation went to 8.6% in May, and the Federal Reserve raised rates. They didn't get it down. Inflation went high because of supply chain disruption and gasoline, and the Federal Reserve raising rates doesn't solve that. And inflation came in at a whopping 8.6. Met June went in at 9.1. At that point, we realized your benefits are going up a lot. But we also need to know three months of data. Why? Your benefits are tied to something called COLA, cost of living adjustment. And it's determined by another number. Three months of that number. CPI-W, released in the month of June. Excuse me, for the month of June, released in the month of August. August released in the month of September. And September released in the month of October. The July data we knew was going to be released last week. That's why you tuned in. We wanted to watch it. We watched it live on this channel as a family. And it came in for the month of July on August 10th. And what did it show? 
basically flat. Really good news for your benefits because if flat is hitting, then we need two more months of flat inflationary data, and that means your benefits are going up the largest of a lifetime. Now, we're going to go over the calculation of those benefits in just a second, but let's go over what you and I are looking at this month of August and what we're looking at the next month of September. We need to see inflation where it is right now or go higher to make sure we get in this locket of those massive benefits. Let's go over the analysis Tony right tonight. The reason why inflation for that CPI release last week tracked down a little bit, less than a half a percentage point, was because the broad number, the headline number, the summary number, 8.5%, of that CPI pulled down because gasoline in the month of July went down slightly. Now, here's what you need to know first before we continue. Gasoline is going to go back up. The analysts all say the gasoline is going to go up because when you enter into those fall months, you have hurricanes and tornadoes that take off for refineries on time uh, all the time. Then you have increased demand, and also the production of gasoline is at full capacity right now, so they're going to pull back in capacity. They're not going to see, stay at this massive capacity level indefinitely. Moreover, if you remove gasoline from the CPI and look at see the component parts, what's called the core CPI last week, it actually went up compared to the month of June. So inflation actually went up month to month when you remove gasoline. And what do you and I think is going to happen this month of August? We're living right now and the next month of August of September. Let's do the analysis as a family starting right now. First, shelter, which is rent, composes 30% of the CPI. If you look at the landscape of rent right now and think the landlords are getting full capacity, and they're happy with the price of rent, they're not going to cut the price of rent, and there's too much of a demand and not enough supply of rent, then you believe that rent prices have really stabilized. They're not going to drop, and they may go even higher. Number two, when you look at milk, eggs, and all those consumer staples you buy at the supermarket, they're actually up month to month. So there's no indication that milk or eggs would actually go down this month of August. None at all. Then labor. Do you think the labor the market's going to soften? Do you think the, the, the employer's going to start to cut people's salary in the month of August? No, of course not. That's not happening. So where do you see any numbers in that CPI for the month of August we're living right now, or at least next month, coming down? I don't see any number. I don't see any number, whether it's rent, food, even energy, like electric, which you're running for the AC or, or, or the heating oil coming in just a few weeks when it gets colder. I don't see any of these items going down inherently. So it's looking really good that inflation's at least peak uh, flat for this month and the next month. And that is why we need to see the data. Now, before we see the CPI, we can see other data across the board. And the simplest way is the supermarket. When you go in the supermarket this week and look at the price of milk and eggs and then watch it over the next few weeks, see whether it's stabilized, whether it's not going higher or lower. Then, when you check out, look at how many employees are at the checkout stand. Have they kept the same number of employees or have they cut the number of employees? If you see things basically stabilized, then you understand that things are not getting worse and not getting better. That's great news for your benefits. All right, let's go back into the benefit calculation right now. So we need to see three months of data. We had the first month release last week. We need two more months. And then what? First, your benefits go up automatically. Direct deposit otherwise in the mail, however, you get your check. Number two, you, yes, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, not on benefits. If you're going to go on benefits, you as well. Third, 5,000, some of you more, some of you less. And finally, the same percentage lift. Absolutely incredible. Now, remember, this is lifetime stimulus. This is lifetime stimulus. It's so exciting to even say those words, lifetime stimulus. Why? Because the way your benefits work is but once they go up, they never go down. Once your benefits go up, they never go down. So let's say you get a big lift this year. Then if inflation next year is a measly 2%, you get another lift on top of that. You never see the check you're seeing right now ever again in your livelihood, in your lifetime. Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. So the next question then is, how much of a percentage raise are my benefits going to go up? Well, we have some analysts, some analysis. And again, this is analysis. This is not data. The Seniors League, which is a nonprofit organization, looked at the data for last week, that CPI that came in, headline number 8.5%. And they said when the headline number 8.5% came in, they're looking at about 10.1% raise of your benefits. Interesting. 10.1% up when the CPI is 85 what do I think? 
I see no reason that the current state of inflation is going to stay where it is. I think that's actually going to go back up. Now, I said that inflation's peaked, but I'm referring to the top line number. I think that rent could go up. I think that food and staples can go up and salaries could go up as well. So I don't see any inherent reason that it could be 10.5% or 11% raise of your benefits across the board. Ultimately, you and I can track this by looking at the products in the stores together. Then we'll be looking at the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index release. It's a data point for inflation in the next few days. We have the data for the housing, and we have a lot of inflationary data coming in later this week as well. There you go. Lifetime raise of your benefits across the board. But boy, folks, we got other great news. A force to check in every U.S. state. These are check A, B, and C. And these have been checks featured on this channel since the month of March. And viewers have been getting them. And we're going to go over those incredible four stimulus checks in every U.S. state starting right now. They were done by the President of the United States, not by Congress, by executive action. That's why they're federal stimulus. And those incredible checks have been gotten by viewers of this channel since the month of March. And what we're seeing tonight is that viewers are really cleaning up well, and they're generally getting lots of months. I've been doing checks on this channel since this channel launched. And initially when I did checks, I told people to get two to three months of checks. Viewers on average are now getting 14 months, 12 months, 10 months, 18 months of checks. Because obviously they're listening to one another, listening to the success stories in this channel, and they're figuring out that they can do bigger and bolder stuff. Go on this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. And with that, let's go over these incredible checks starting right now. It's about $100,000, done by executive actions from Joseph Biden in the month of March. That is why it's federal stimulus, not coming from your state, not paid from your state, not in your state. It's from the federal government, and you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, go get it. And how do you get it? You become a member. Go right on this video and join the channel. Welcome to the hundreds of new members that join daily and the hundreds of new members that stay members. You want to stay members because days like this, when there's seven new checks, you don't want to miss them across the board. One of the benefits of being a member is the membership newsletter. And in that membership newsletter, down at the third line, again, down at the third line, is the Elite Worksheets. And here they are. The L8 Worksheets is a series of pages, a PDF, which you can print out from your phone or cell phone or from your computer or take notes on a separate piece of paper. What do we know about that first page tonight? A lot of breaking news tonight. First, line one, inflation. So we delved into that inflationary data, released last Wednesday, the Consumer Price Index. We saw the headline number pulled back a little bit, softened a little bit, like a half a percentage point. But when we look at rent and food and the consumer staples, they actually up month to month. Remember, this is big news for your benefits because we need to see two more months of this data, basically flat or better or higher. Great news across the board. Recession. What do we know tonight about recession? NASA Association of Home Builders saying housing is a recession. That's big. Because housing usually goes into recession earlier than other industries historically. In the second half of this video, we're going to go more over this recession analysis and Camp 2 versus Camp 1. And, of course, we also saw those companies like Dollar General downgraded because of the belief that the recessionary environment is hitting them right now. Labor, lowest unemployment rate since 1960s, but the highest unemployment claims of 2022. 260,000 new jobs claims last week. I'm projecting to go to 265. This Thursday, we'll feature the data live on air on mornings at 9 a.m. And then the Federal Reserve, they're off in the month of August, back in September. And initially, I was the only broadcaster to say that I'm projecting a 75 basis point in September, but I also said other hikes thereafter. Wall Street was initially 50 basis point and no other hikes. Tonight, there's 75 basis point and no other hikes. My projection, 75 hikes for the whole rest of the year. And I don't think Wall Street's embedded that risk at all. This page is the page that's making big differences. On Saturday, another viewer got 14 more months of checks. Incredible. We've now had two individuals, separate individuals, gotten 14 months of rent. One individual who got 12 months of utilities. This is in the last seven days. I'm not talking in general. I'm not talking about these are the only success stories. I'm talking about the last seven days. We have Spelly who got check A and check C. And then we have that wonderful viewer who got 80 to 100 checks across the board. Tonight, I want to show you a little bit more of why the importance of being a member, why the importance of this worksheet. When you look at the individual checks tonight, what do you have? You have check A, which is really just one check. You have check B, 
which is really four or five checks a month for as many months as you can pull it off. So one viewer pulled it off for 18 months of five checks approximately. That's 80 checks. We'll go over her story in a second. Then you have check C, which is the same thing. It's rent or mortgage and then your utilities. The only difference is with that, you have 12 places to reach out to in 18 months. So that is even potentially more than eight, uh, 80 checks. And then tonight, of course, you have the seven new checks on top of that. Oh, boy. That's a lot of checks. So one of the things I'm saying new tonight is I would actually print out, if you have a printer, print out extra pages of, of this page because you're going to have a lot of more checks to be applied for than you were yesterday on this channel. So that one viewer, she had filled out the, the page and had applied for check B, but forgot that she had applied for check B and got that wonderful message from the state of Florida that says, ma'am, you've been approved. Wonderful for what? Mortgage. Oh, how wonderful. One month? No, 18 months. 18 months of mortgage. Yes, and she also applied for utilities. So let's say the utilities are four checks and the mortgage is one, uh, one eight, eight bills per, uh, four bills per month and the mortgage is one bill per month. That's five bills per month. Five bills per month times 18 months. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's 80 boss checks. Her story is not unique. It should be yours as well. Become a member right on this video. Go join this channel right tonight and start delivering the success story to you and your family as well. The next page is fifth stimulus. So tonight we know a little bit more about that fifth stimulus. When we look at the price of the goods in the supermarket, and they're really not coming down, or some of them are actually still tracking higher, then what do we think about the seniors league saying a 10.1% raise of your benefits potentially based upon last week's number? Of course, last week's number could be higher this month as well. I think it's conservative. I think it's really conservative. I think we could go higher than that. Let's say it's 11%. So how would you, what would you put on this page of the worksheets? Let's say your current benefits is $1,000 a month. So you would times it times point, you times it by 1.11. That's 11%. And that would show you that your what your new benefits are. You could practice this out because ultimately the number is going to be released, revealed, and we'll see the details across the board. Student loan debt forgiveness. The president has forgiven student loan debt forgiveness for individuals who became disabled after graduation, people who went to work in the nonprofit or public sector after graduation, and people who get, became disabled after graduation. But the president's about to do $10,000 for individuals who make $150,000 or less. The announcement has not yet come on in. Gasoline is the final page of that worksheet, and what do we know about that tonight? So international price of Brent crude has traded up slowly in recent days from 94 back up to 98. Oil traders believe that there's full capacity production right now that's not going to stay that way. And they believe that supply will overwhelm demand if there is a recession. So it's a little bit of up and down and left and right. Ultimately, you can analyze it however you wish. The price of gasoline at the pump U.S. AAA national average continues to drop more every day compared to when Putin invaded Ukraine. But the takeaway is that gasoline is really not going to stay this low indefinitely. That is the takeaway. And if that is the situation, then you have to understand that inflation's biggest manner or reason to drop this last month may no longer be there for the next month across the board. In the big second half of this recording, we're going to go over those new stimulus checks. Incredible great news. We're going to go over that recession versus not recession. Important for you to know. We'll go over why this inflationary environment is so important to understand. It's an economy that is relatively complex. It's an economy that has a lot of moving parts. It's an economy in which you need to know what's happening at a given moment and need to stay on top of it. And you found it here with the channel that delivers it in an approachable, easy, and breezy way to learn to earn. In the big second half, we're going to go over more about these incredible checks and the question mark of this recession. For now, go into this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Cow, Cino VIP. And the big second half of this recording, we're going to go over all those incredible checks at issue. You need to get this money to err on caution. Because ultimately, if we have a two-year recession, you're going to need to stock up as much money as you can. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as America's most watched show in prime time for financial news continues. It's evenings. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. 
That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now in a big second half of our gorgeous August 15th, 2022 from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Major companies are not going to survive at the recession, but others will. We'll have the latest details in tonight's recording and go over that in the big second half. Meantime, your benefit raises are going to be huge if that inflation continues to track higher. We'll have more about that, of course, as well. But now we're going to jump into those incredible four stimulus checks in every U.S. state and go over that great, great sums of money. Across the land, it's a night in which there's a lot of checks at issue. Seven new checks were revealed on the Sunday broadcast of this channel. The lifetime stimulus just gone over. And now we're going to go over the real bread and butter. Check A, check B, check C. That is delivering people upwards of 80 checks over $200,000, $150,000, The opportunity is there. And now it's for you. And we go over all those details starting right now. How are you? Good evening. In the month of March, viewers said, you know what? Can you find me some checks? And I did. That's what I've been doing for a very long time since the channel launched. And I had two focuses at the time. First, big checks. And second, broad eligibility. Because at the time in February, I was the only broadcaster to say we're going to recession. And recession is two years. It hurts people really economically, financially, dramatically. And I wanted big checks. And I found about $100,000 check A, B, and C. Number two, broad eligibility. And I wanted my viewers to be able to qualify for these checks. And you do. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, go get it. Number three, I want it easy breezy for you to be able to go in and pounce and get them. As a Purple Hawk, pounce, Purple Hawk, pounce. And what did I do? Put in the membership newsletter. Membership newsletters delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And all you got to do is go through that membership newsletter. Go get A, go get B, go get C, and similar. And with that, let's go over all these incredible checks starting right now. Check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 for a stimulus check in every U.S. state. And you want to get that incredible check. It is so simple. This is the weatherizing grant check. This is the check that Spelly got. And how do you get that check? Well, let's go over the details of it right now. It's $6,500 to $12,000, a four stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. And if you're on benefits, go get it as well. How do you get it? Step one, go under this video, become a member. Then go down to that membership newsletter where it says check A, click the link, send you into the nationwide website, and go get that wonderful check A. You're not done with check A, you're going to go get check B then. Right under check A in the newsletter, of course, is check B. Fifteen dollars to $80,000, this is a check that fewer out of Florida got. Eighty to 100 checks, incredible sums of money. How do you get it? Step one, go into this video and become a member. Join the channel. Welcome to all the hundreds of new members. Welcome to the hundreds of returning members and welcome to the upgrading members in the last 24 to 48 hours. This is the number three most watched financial news channel in America. With so much happening, we'll go over the exciting news coming to this channel later this recording. Join this channel. Then don't forget to subscribe. Also, make sure you hit that alert and go down in the newsletter to see Check B. Send you to the nationwide website. Go get it. You're not done there yet because check B and check A is $100,000. You're going to go get check C. On top of the 100000 of check A and B, go get check C. 
Many viewers are getting over 150,000 for check C, some even less, but it's just incredible. It's for rent, utilities, mortgages, and more. And how do you get that check C? You go into the membership, you go into the video, join this channel, then get that membership newsletter, go down to check C. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. We've been getting a check C on this channel since 2020. It predates second stimulus, it predates third stimulus, and it became very big in third stimulus. Let's look at these big sums of money you can get as well. Here are just some of the success stories. Twenty to $30,000 for rent, go get check C. Look at these numbers for utilities. Incredible. Mark's brother-in-law is getting $15,000. Then combinations, uh, then SNAP. Same brother-in-law is getting $250,000 over 10 years from this channel. Combinations of checks, that's what you want to aspire for. Nisi went from 22,000 to 50,000. Mark went with, from this graphic, 32,000 to 166,000. And Lorraine went from 105 to 150. Incredible news. You know, if you do not know the history of the language on this channel, purple, where did purple come? Where did purple power come? Where did purple hawk come from? Let me remind you where purple hawk came from. Purple Hawk was an expression that came after Purple and Purple Power, in which I said, you got to pounce like a hawk and get this money before other people. Because it's first come, first serve. Once a lot of people hear the money, they're going to pounce and try to get the money before you. At the time, there was a lot of programs that, that was having that happen, where people, if you applied one day later, the money was gone. And I said, pounce like a hawk. And then I said, pounce like a Purple Hawk. Guess what happened this weekend? As soon as we had that special broadcast at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time on Sunday, and I said, there's seven new checks, guess who's in the live chat? The same people who keep on getting these reoccurring checks, Nisi, Lorraine, Mark, and similar. They know that they have to be first in and first to cure and first to grab that money because it's not going to be around indefinitely. So what do you want to do? First, subscribe. You're watching Ally Light, the number three most watched financial bro news broadcaster in America. This is the lead channel, and two new channels are coming to this broadcasting family. They are the L8-2 network and the L8-3 network. On L8-2, you're going to see your stimulus 24-7 live programming, plus you'll see tape shows about humor. On L8-3, you can see live programming about Wall Street and then tape programming about food. Meantime, the website that started all nearly 20 years ago, LA.com, is re relaunched to feature your financial issues. And then the live show on this channel, The Talk of the Town, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, live feed updated throughout the hour. You want to jump on that live show around the clock. Go into this video, subscribe. Subscribe to LA2 and subscribe to LA3. Then make sure you hit the bell under this channel to make sure notifications set to all on. And finally, join this channel. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. So that you can go through that incredible membership newsletter, go get check A all the way to check K. A lot of checks and a lot of success coming to you as well. Tonight, we look more back into that recessionary debate and why that recessionary debate may not be as heated and as initially thought. Why? Well, see what's happened in less than 24 hours. Series of major company downgrades because of recessionary pressures on those businesses, number one. Then we jump over the housing. We have the housing indicator saying that we're definitely in a housing market recession. So how can some people sit around and say there's literally no recession? If you have earnings recession, if you have housing recession, and you have everything in between that doesn't really line up as a strong, robust economy. Two negative quarters of GDP grow. I think it's starting to look like Camp 1 is abandoned. <laughs> I, just, I just think Camp 1 is starting to look a little ridiculous. Here's what you need to know. Ultimately, I'm not here to convince you to Camp 1 or Camp 2, but I need to convince you of what the data looks like in a recession. First, what is a recession and what does it manifest itself as? A recession is an environment in which economic times are worsened. People are not making as much money, businesses are not growing, and things are contracting. How does a recession start? Geographically, it starts differently. It will start on one part of the, of the United States and then, and then start on another part of the United States another time. The last recession started on the East Coast and, the, and then it ended first on the East Coast. The West Coast was the last to go into the recession and the last to come out of the recession. Number two, a recession starts in different industries at different times. So, for example, 
in the prior recession, I believe the housing industry went into recession first, and then other industries went into recession later. So you see tonight, the National Association of Home Builders saying we're already in a housing, industry, housing recession. So they're basically saying housing is in a recession. But you may not think that, for example, auto is in recession. We know that, for example, travel and leisure, clearly not in recession. So different industries go into recession at different times. Next, even in the same industry, you're going to see some companies act and actually exist like it's not even a recession, as though the recession ever happened. And they have same, similar situated companies in the same industry literally go under, literally close their doors. Here's an example. Apple is reporting that they may likely sell the same number of iPhones this Christmas that they did last Christmas. How can that be? If they're in a recession, how can they be selling the same number of iPhones? Because Apple is not a Snap. Apple is not a Twitter. And Twitter is being hit badly with those corporate earnings down grades and similar. And Apple has a lot of cash on hand. Here's another comparable situation. A small business owner that may be a tech company cannot afford rising interest rates from the Federal Reserve. Apple can. Apple has millions of dollars on bank. So it's a different situation across the board. Next, some analysts want to define a recession or lack of recession based upon the events of the first week of the recession. Can't do that either. Certain industries or certain parts of the recession remain strong initially and then get weak at the end and collapse at the end. Case in point, the unemployment rate. The unemployment rate is the best since the 1960s. So don't use that data today as the indication that there is no recession. It doesn't prove that there won't be a recession. What does it mean? It means that it's tracking like prior events. In the prior recessions, unemployment fell apart or labor fell apart at the end of the recession. Because what happens? Businesses start to have issues and then they start to cut costs. And when they cut the costs, they lay off a few employees. Then they have higher freezes. Then they close stores. And then they close entire states of stores. So it, it meanders slowly through the food chain. So anyone who says, well, labor is really strong right now, that hence there's no recession, that's not how recessions work. They meander through the equation left and right. But tonight I really want to touch on a major issue, which is the inflation. The inflation and the interest rates. If you do not know, because a lot of people don't know, we've lived in an environment for many, many years in which interest rates have been basically zero propped up by central banks in the United States and other countries. So if you had a credit card debt, it didn't cost that much money. If you had a car loan, it didn't cost that bad a car loan. Zero interest rates is not the same as 20% interest rates. And what's going to happen, what is happening, and what will be happening? The lifetime of zero interest rates is gone. The period of zero interest rates is not coming back anytime soon. And the situation of the current interest rates where they are tonight are going to get a lot worse. So suddenly, this is a way to run a business that you've never seen before. If you're a bakery and you got to buy some inventory and you do it on a credit card, then suddenly you can't afford the credit card because the interest rates are going straight up. And that is an environment that Americans have not lived during this generation for. And you don't even have to believe my analysis that the Federal Reserve is going to potentially do interest rate spikes of 75 basis points all throughout the rest of the year. You just have to believe that there's going to be more interest rate spikes. And if there are, it's a whole nother ball game. What solves inflation? A recession solves inflation. When Americans cannot afford to live and are thrown into recession, that does solve inflation. And inflation goes away. Can inflation cause a recession? Sure. But they're very different economic situations across the board. Ultimately, what I've been teaching on this channel is that you have to err on caution. You have to err on caution because ultimately what's at issue is that if Camp One really does become a reality, and there is no massive recession, and everything in good times are here to stay, then you got extra money in the bank account. Then you got extra money in the bank account. What you need to do is increase your savings and reduce your adjustable rate def debt. You need to prepare your family because a financial cliff is likely less than 30 days away. Remember, all those people going on unemployment every week are not going to see those unemployment checks from 2020. They're going to see small unemployment checks, really small sums of money. The situation for stimulus is here. This is the situation for stimulus. Don't make it something other than what the present situation is.
You may have heard about something in the past, like a CR for stimulus. You may have heard about something talked about in the past, but deal with what the situation is with the present and ultimately go into the detail of where this economy is so you know where it's going. What does this feel like? It feels like the people who read the, the front of the book cover are really going to be in big trouble and that people who actually read the book are going to be in a great situation. You can look at a Tesla stock, uh, you know, 200, 300 points in the last three days. Oh, good times are here today because I looked at the stock. It's straight up. If you don't know why the stock is up, then you may be extrapolating in a way that's incorrect. If you read the title of a Facebook post or a title of a story and you say, oh, it all looks really good, and you don't understand the core of really what the big problem is, then you could be left on the wrong side of the equation. This is a community like on other. There's a community like none other, where people really care about one another, where people want to learn to prepare themselves ahead of the ball game. You don't want to be left behind the ball game. You've already endured lockdowns. You've already endured COVID. You've already de endured a downgraded economy over two years plus. You, this time of, of, of the equation, want to be ahead of it. You want to know if it's going to go down, I don't want it to bring it down with me. I want to prepare my family so that I can endure it. I like saying there's ways to survive a downward spiraling economy. And there are. There absolutely are. People who prepare and know what's going on will be able to do quite well. People who think that everything can be summarized in 14 words or less, oh boy, not going to look good across the board. Ultimately, Here's what you need to know tonight. The situation on Wall Street is really problematic. With Wall Street really not embedding the risk of the situations going south, worse, into the markets. If they not assess the risk, then Wall Street could get a major hit across the board. They've not assessed the risk of more interest rate spikes, ouch. They've not assessed the risk of more downgrades for stocks, ouch. They've not assessed the risk of labor problems and store closures, ouch. A lot of major questions on that front over on housing. For every housing story where you talk about a home builder who's selling a house at a record sale number, you also have to wonder who's the person buying the house? Who's the person buying the house at the highest number price point we've seen of a generation when the home builders say we're in a recession? Yeah, there's two sides of every story and you wonder who's on the other side of the story? Are they listening carefully enough? Ultimately, I care about you and we care about as a family. And I want to end with Michelle Bowman's comments. She's one of those Fed governors. And her comments came in less than a week ago. Her comments were the following. Federal Reserve will get inflation down and needs to get it down to 2% and will continue to hit those inflationary pressures by interest rate spikes consecutively in the way in which we've been doing it all along until we get inflation down to 2%. What does that mean? <laughs> 75 basis point. Every interest rate spike that the Federal Reserve can give you, at least during September, 75, 75, 75, until they get inflation to 2%. And she was very clear in her comments. We're not sure we're going to get it to 2% this year. We may have to keep on doing this into next year. I'm not even making that recording yet tonight. So imagine how much interest rate spikes could be hitting and how much inflation could still be around. Ultimately, you're learning it tonight. Ultimately, you're earning it tonight. Ultimately, you're preparing where that horizon could be. You're not relying upon a Wall Street analyst to tell you one interest rate spike and we're done and good and we're finished in September because Bowman didn't say that. That's why you tune in here and I love you to death. Join me throughout the night and throughout the next morning as well. We have evenings at every night at 5 o'clock. Countdown at 6 o'clock. Stream so much at 7 o'clock. 8 o'clock is extra. 9 o'clock is sunset. The programming continues throughout the night. And then a brand, then we come back in the morning at early mornings at LA at 4 a.m. Mornings at LA at 9. Excuse me, mornings countdown at 7 and mornings uh, at 9 a.m. And then if you're watching this in the live feed, stay throughout the night as the show's update throughout the evening and new morning. Don't forget to become a member. You deserve it for your family. You deserve to get all this situation intact and in place and where it belongs. Go out in this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. And stay here. Stay informed. Stay focused. The night is just starting and the day and week is just getting underway. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Ally for more.